The operators of Fukushima Daiichi have learned their efforts to stop radioactive water from reaching the ocean have failed. Elvis has left the building. Crews have detected high levels of radioactivity since May in the monitoring wells and nearby waters. Workers have pumped a hardening agent into an embankment in an effort to stop the flow. They hoped that would prevent radioactive water from reaching the Pacific. But company officials admit water levels in one of the contaminated wells have risen by about a meter since the work began in early July. They suspect the work being done on the embankment could be causing the leak. Regulators have criticized TEPCO officials for the failures. The regulators say they have no sense of crisis despite the emergency. Japan will be dealing with the problems caused by Fukushima Daiichi for many years to come. Engineers still have a long way to go before they decommission the reactors. Public and private sector groups have set up a joint research organization to figure out how to scrap the units. Industry Minister Toshimitsu Motegi handed over the organization's charter to Kyoto University professor Hajimu Yamana. Yamana will head the International Research Institute for Nuclear Decommissioning. We'll bring together Japanese technology and ideas in order to reach resolutions. More than 500 experts from 17 groups will be part of the institute. They plan to develop remote-controlled robots to work at highly radioactive sites and technologies to remove melted nuclear fuel. It could take as long as 40 years to scrap the reactors. Only two nuclear reactors are helping power Japanese homes and businesses during the steamy days of summer. But the people who operate them say they're shutting them down for inspections in September. Japan is expected to be without an operating reactor for the first time in 14 months. Nuclear plants across the country shut down for regular inspections after the accident two years ago at Fukushima Daiichi. Last July, officials with Kansai Electric Power Company were allowed to restart two reactors at their OE plant. Now they've submitted an application to the Nuclear Regulation Authority to shut down one of those reactors in early September, then another two weeks later. The operators of five other nuclear plants have filed applications to restart their reactors. Now the regulators are busy checking to see if those facilities are safe. Officials in Fukushima Prefecture have started internal radiation level checks for small children. They have adapted the measuring equipment for those under the age of four. The checks cover children who lived in five municipalities designated as evacuation zones after the nuclear accident in March 2011. The equipment is designed for adults. Officials have added chairs so that smaller children can be tested. Parents have been waiting for this opportunity. Honestly speaking, I think it took too long. But at the same time, I'm also grateful that younger children have finally had the checks. Unofficial said parents were frustrated because they didn't know the internal radiation levels of their children. We hope to offer this test across Fukushima Prefecture in cooperation with other municipalities. Japan's Deputy Prime Minister Taito Aso has had to retract some recent remarks. They can be seen as citing the Nazis as an example Japan could follow in amending its constitution. What the fuck? Aso said he regrets having caused a misunderstanding. Funny things. Aso told a symposium Monday that he doesn't want to see debate on changing the constitution conducted in a frenzy. He said Germany's Weimar constitution was changed before anyone realized what had happened. Aso suggested that Japan could learn from their tactics. He retracted those remarks on Thursday. Aso said he thinks it's extremely important to discuss constitutional rev revisions in a level-headed manner. I cited the way Nazi Germany changed the Weimar Constitution as an example of a situation where no sufficient national debate took place amid a frenzied state of affairs. 
I understand that my comment has brought about a great deal of misunderstanding. One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. I want to retract my sighting of the Nazis as an example. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga said Aso told him on Wednesday night of his intention to make a retraction. The government of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe does not endorse past Nazi actions. Akihiro Ohata is the secretary general of the largest opposition Democratic Party. He said Aso's remarks are totally unacceptable. Ohata said the comment could undermine Japan's national interests. He demanded the government clarify its stance on the remarks of the Diet. Here's the finance minister, Taro Aso. Remember, everybody's an Aso. Who can forget Taro Aso? <laughs> The biggest asshole in Japan. Who can forget him? He's the finance minister, right? Yes. What an asshole that asshole is. <laughs> well, he's in this headline. Let elderly people, quote, hurry up and die, says Japanese minister. Taro Aso says he would refuse end-of-life care and would feel bad knowing treatment was paid for the, by the government. So he was doing the rounds, selling people on this new budget they have you know, for the new government. Heaven forbid, he said, if you are forced to live on when you want to die, I would wake up feeling increasingly bad knowing the treatment was all being paid for by the government. The problem won't be solved unless you let them hurry up and die. <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Watanabe. This, some fella, finance minister in Japan named Aso, wants you to kill yourself for the benefit of his paper-pushing bankster buddies down there at the Bank of Japan. That's not right, is it? What are you going to do about it? How about some... Uh, some you know what? They got that special sushi in Japan made out of the blowfish. <laughs> yeah. If you eat too much of it, it kills you. How about Mrs. Watanami goes down to this asshole's office and serves him a nice luncheon of deadly sushi? How'd you like that, asshole? A U.S.-based Jewish human rights group has also criticized Aso's comment. The Simon Weisenthal Center, based in Los Angeles, issued a statement calling on Aso to clarify his remarks. It quoted Aso in asking what techniques could be worth learning from the Nazis. It asked if Aso meant ways to stealthily cripple democracy. The statement also suggested Aso may have forgotten that the rise of the Nazis engulfed humanity in the horrors of World War II. South Korea has also expressed displeasure over Aso's comments. We urge Japan's government and political leaders to be more cautious about their words and actions. Earlier on Tuesday, Cho said the meaning of Aso's words is clear to sensible people and neighboring countries that suffered damage from uh, Japan's invasions. I'm watching bankers starve the world. And I'm watching illegal and unjust wars I'm watching nuclear meltdowns and pollution While the vast majority continue to snore I'm watching the surveillance state be built in the march to World War III I'm watching the sheep led to the slaughter While we're sitting in front of a propaganda machine Welcome to my alternate reality Taking this seriously Cause I'm on this ball With its finger I'm self-destruct But Jesus says blood is the only hope I've got I'm watching perversions all over the net Actually I'm not Cause I don't want to see I'm watching a 
charade of politicians being controlled by secret societies. <laughs> Blood is the only hope we 